Welcome to this tutorial on creating a structured mesh for an AKR foil using open source tools. By the end of this tutorial, you will be able to generate airfoil geometry using a simple Python script, automatically create a block mesh depth file for OpenFoam, build a structured mesh around the NACA airfoil using a block mesh, check mesh quality and visualize the result in bar view, modify parameters to test and generate another mesh for NACA airfoil. For this tutorial, you need three open source tools, Python, OpenFoam, and ParView. So, let's get started with the setup and by the end of this session, you will be able to generate your own structured 2D airfoil mesh completely using open source tools. After downloading the zip file from my website, you, will, you can uh, extract the folder inside it which has the name PyNACFO. Inside the folder, you will find two other folders, constant folder and system folder with the airfoil mesh generation tool it's a python file and the instruction of how to using this workflow and a form.com file which will be used to visualize the result now we will go and open the airfoil 2 d block mesh gen file it is a, just a text file named airfoil to the block mesh gen dot by. It has an a user input section which is contains the input parameters, the code of the NACA airfoil that we want to uh, generate a mesh for it, the code which is selected to be one, and the main dimension of the CFD domain, and finally how many point do you want to load the airfoil? After the input section, we can see here we have the functions. We have the function section. It consists of seven different functions. Each function do a job in the entire workflow. We start first with the function NACA4 underscore coordinate, which has the which is designed to generate the upper and lower surface coordinates of the NACA 4 digit airfoil. It has three inputs, the code, the number of point, and the code. And it returns a list of coordinates for the upper surface, a reversed list of coordinates of the lower surface, so it connects smoothly. The next function is generate vertices which is responsible for defining the corner vertices of the computational domain it has the input of p which is which is containing user defined parameters such as upstream downstream top bottom span and any other required parameters for the cfd domain and it finally it returns a list of 3d vertices Then we have the third function, which, which is block gen. Block gen is responsible for defining the block structure, which is in our case here, hexacells for the, the mesh, and it retains a for uh, and it retains a formatted string ready for black mesh deck file. Function number four is edge gen, which is responsible responsible for defining the curved edges for the airfoil and the inlet arcs. The input for it is the upper lower coordinate, span, and inlet arcs. It returns at the end of a formatted string for edge section for the block mesh deck file. And then we will go to the function number five, which is boundary gen. Its purpose is to define the boundary batches for CFD simulation and returns the boundary section string. Function number six, write a block, a block mesh deck, which is purpose is to combine all components into one complete block mesh deck in logic and then it returns the final file which will be saved in the system folder 
with the name of clock mesh delta. And finally, we have the function number seven, which is the, which is the main function, which will run the script and write the block mesh delta. After understanding the construction of our L5 to the block mesh generator, we will go to the next step and by changing the nanocode to 0012 and save the file, we can now go to the next step and run the file to generate the block mesh delta file. Uh, go to your terminal and navigate to the working directory where your uh, pineaca 4 folder is and then uh, run the script that we have just edited before to generate the control mesh dict. Then we will find a message displayed block mesh dict written successfully. Then in the system folder you will find the new block mesh deck file with all required vertices, blocks definitions, the edges with of the the edges which will define the airfoil uh, edges and the inlet curved edges, and finally you will find the boundary batches which inlet, outlet, walls, and the two interface, front and the back, and the two front and back interface. Just to close the file, block mesh, and, and navigate your terminals again, and run the open phone command block mesh, after writing the mesh, you can also check the quality of the mesh by running the command check mesh. When, when it's mesh OK, then you have a mesh quality according to your described according to your described criteria. Last step, go to your folder again, open the form.form file with parview, then you will be able Go to your main folder and go open the file founded form with your part of you, which is already installed in the system. Click apply, show surface with edges, zoom in, and now you can see your structure grab around to the air file. For the air foil NACA, 0012. After visualizing it, you can close and go back to our file here, which is the blockchain file. Change NASA from 0012 to 4412. Save the file, close it, and Repeat the explain steps again and run the Python to generate the block mesh dict file. Run block mesh, check mesh, and then finally go to your main folder again. Open the form.form file, click apply, service with edges, zoom, and now you can see how the airfoil, and if you want to generate 100 airfoils, you, you just need to create a loop to repeat this process many times. Thank you for watching. And see you again.